Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancion. I thought I wish you a good day from Toulouse here, and it's a lot cooler than yesterday. Actually, it's kind of nice. Uh, I wanted to congratulate you for we all you all doing wonderful job, regardless of what the appearance may be. When I was saying about some people not doing their job, I was talking about people in the position of power and those will be replaced. Many of them are doing their work. There are those forces that are working for the light and those who are opposing the light, those forces who want to, to create a world of peace and those who want to maintain the war. And there is all kinds of little wars that are still going on, which is a problem. I've asked the, the goddess Athena to assist in resolving those conflicts so that to limit the, the time frame in which those, those conflicts happen. And she, she told me that um, they already won. So the, 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 those who are on the side of the light already won. Huh? So, so there is really nothing to worry about. But we, we do want to put an end. We want to conceptualize in our mind that those little wars that are still going on are the last ones. And that uh, after that, for there is great cosmic waves that are coming. And we have to be prepared for that because it's going to upgrade the, all of humanity's consciousness. No matter who, we, everybody will, be, will have one or two steps of, the, the, of more clairvoyance that will be coming. So, so it is important to be prepared for that. And uh, the, the more we ascend, the more we discover wonders beyond our wildest dreams. And, and, and it's the same thing with the, the, the assistance of spirit. Because of the law of non-interference, those who remain on the third dimensional physical and don't want anything else will continue on that path. But, but as we ascend, we, we are we're giving more and more, more permission, and, and that really assists. The, the, the assistance of the, of the higher beings will really... Um, <coughs> are really assisting with that as, as we as the more we ascend the more we we learn to to utilize all those resources for it is very difficult to maintain a pure state of joy and happiness in this world very few people have been able except for the buddha maybe who's, who's found this this nirvana of being but it was always ecstatic it was uh, but but um, the, the universe is showing us that we are not really capable of holding that frequency so we're going to receive a lot of assistance and a lot and those waves are really going to dissolve all kinds of karma traumas uh, blockages so so just trust that know that it's coming uh, you got to be there is need to be patient but we also need to detox we also need to participate. We also need to move out of our comfort zone in order to discover something new. Uh, we also want to forgive. For, for it's like uh, if we can forget the karma and turn into the law, the karma disappears. Huh? It is all forgiven. For there is nothing to forgive in truth, because it, it is all illusionary. It's a, it's a show. It's an illusion. It's a lesson. It's it's a show. It's a it's an experience that is teaching everybody what they need to learn, and then everybody has to face its own creation. So we want to forgive ourselves and others for all imaginary or real transgression. For there's real transgression sometimes, but we want to forgive. And, uh, and and move into the love only position and to so that we can remain above that we also want to start using more of our intuitive brain to be to, the entity the intuition the feminine side of the of the feminine to to be that the logical mind be submissive to to the voice of the intuition and then eventually they're going to balance out but first we need to to return to the connection to listen to the the voice of the heart and um I'm going to pull a card. For God wants peace and harmony. Everything, everybody that wants conflict and domination and power are working against that. Huh? So it, it, is, um, it is like the, 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 the ego, the devil, or whatever you want to call it. Everybody's got connection to that. And huh? we have both the nature of light, which is God, and the nature of darkness, which is what we call the ego or the devil within ourselves. We, we, we got to stop blaming the, the, the demons and all that. If they have power over us, it's because we, somehow we, we, we allow them to, to, to do that. So just uh, cast them out. But, uh, but you can only cast them out for yourself because if you cast them out, there is like every human being, most human beings in 3D are, are calling upon 100 to 150 different anti astral entities and demons every day. They don't realize it. And, uh, but they still use that for their evolution. Very soon with those new cosmic waves, they're going to become aware and, and we're going to be able to clear up a lot of things. But it's already done on the higher planes. The astral planes have been clear now we just need to clear up the physical realm and uh, the more we ascend the more we, we are able to get uh, to get information from spirit as well so the card of the day is the sinker is to start making plans to have plans to be clear about what you want and start making plans start envisioning put details in your dream details in your vision to, to make to, 
to, to prepare even a list and things of that, that you know, all the things that you ever that you would ever wanted make a list of it and say I am ready to receive that my creator and I thank you then the creator will always uh, guide you to let you know what you need to do if there is anything for you to do just being to to because we, we need to produce something to get something back. We live in a magnetic universe. If we don't produce anything, we won't get anything back. It's like, although the standstill is kind of nice as well. The, and so, uh, so I'm going to pull a few cards um, also. Just wanted to I come and wish you a good day. And uh, I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And I thank you for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me a message. The, the observer of the day's receptivity. We have to be always in a receptive mode, always listening to the, the, the heart, always listening to life, always listening to the spirit, to learn to... Sometimes we need to be creative, and then we move into the creative flow. But, but to always be receptive, to get the information, to get the guidance... In the past is wealth, we are the world. This is integrated, the, the unity consciousness, there's going to be a lot of... Um, it's already it's already there on the astral plane on the on the astral spiritual it is just like sometimes the mental the, the physical mental brain is having a hard time accepting something it does not see yet manifested and yet it, it is part of the the process to to accept that for it to change towards that well, and, and what we, where we are now is guilt. We have to let go of blame, shame, guilt, traumas. Everything is just imaginary. And we produce, it takes a lot of energy to, to, to become sad. It takes a lot of energy to become angry. It takes a lot of energy to, 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 to all those negative functions that we create. All the pain and suffering are our own creation. Once we realize that, we can let go of them. When we feel it's like coming from outside or someone or something, then we become victim of something else. But as soon as we realize we have the power over that, we can forgive and forget and, and move forward, to, to, still with the lesson to learn. Huh? If, you, if, if, if something is like inappropriate uh, that happened, uh, the, we don't want to repeat the lesson and we want to move forward. But, but it's about letting go of all shame, all blame. There is no need for that. And the future will be a new vision. A new vision, something that cannot be... Uh, it, we can already sense it. We can have a few steps ahead. But we cannot really know all that is coming. What's coming from within is the experience, the vir virtue. It's about virtue. It's about integrity. It's about becoming one with nature. It's about accepting the experience and conducting the, the experience. And on, on the outside world, we have hanging on, holding on to the past. So it's very... We, we want to be liberated from the past in order to create a new future. Because the past will come back to... to, to see to check it out, to check out if we want to repeat the same thing or if we want to hold on to a belief or can, can we move into something completely liberated as for, for right now there's a great deal of cleansing that is happening and we're facing all the, all, all the guilt and, and, then the, and then there is the biblical snake, it's called politics it's, it's, it's about seeing behind the veil to see that who's sincere, who's not sincere and then uh, to, to, without judging but not to be fooled by this biblical snake and also to, to fight it within ourselves, to, to, to let it go to not be a victim or subject to, 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 to temptation of whatever and, and and sincere or, uncom or compromised with, uh, and, and then once we learn that to, to let go of that of the mask and the mask will drop everybody will be seen for who they are eventually and so so it's like some people will be very embarrassed to, to have been deceiving so many people I'm talking people in the public sphere mostly and um, then what we the, the, the next lesson we'll learn after that is the here it's called exhaustion it's about someone who's been, who's been spend, spending so much energy trying to please everybody else but is so is eventually exhausted so think of yourself first relax and then the victory comes as, as the in, in terms of the new vision the, the, the new vision will bring the ripe ripeness the fruits will fall down, and naturally there is nothing Spirit is saying. Do not force anything. Just be in receptive mode and wait for it to come. We have, patience is required, but at some point we want to we want to move out of waiting. <laughs> so, in terms of the experience, what do we need to cultivate? In terms of experience, is a self empowerment. 
Yeah, it's called the creator. It's to have to be really anchored within the earth, within our belly, and and, and to to have this this anchorage into our physical body, and and to and to understand that the, the seat of consciousness, the seat of consciousness is the third eye, is the pineal gland. It's like a third eye that we have at the center of the of our brain, and so we want we want to decassify and, and open our third eye. And of course, for that is the um, the, the idea is to, to first to eliminate fluoride from your like to space and things like that. There is many others that you can use, and if, if you're using fluoride and you stop it, you'll see in two weeks your dreams will clear up. You'll feel a lot more light. You, you, it's, it's like it's it's really a it's a neurotoxin. In truth, the fluoride is a neurotoxin. It's a, all neurotoxins that they've been using in society are the one of the cause of, of certain um, neurodegenerative uh, illness that. Um, but very soon we're going to put an end to that. And, and uh, the third eye is really the seat of consciousness. That your, your soul resides there. And uh, once, of course, you stay connected to your sacred heart always. But, but uh, in, in there, I feel like sometimes there's too many voices. Just a silence. And everybody will shut up in your mind. There is all those voices and all those entities. So just shut up. Sh silence. And so, uh, and the third eye, well, for me, it's like for 30 years, it's been like, it's like God controls my third eye. Sometimes it's quite mysterious why I'm getting images, I'm getting connections, I'm doing all kinds of things. I have no clue. Sometimes sometimes it's really hard to, because uh, what's coming through the, the from the higher plane is not temporal. It's placed in temporality, but it's, it's not limited by time. So it's not always easy to, to figure it out. Sometimes it's just receive it and, and enjoy it if you can. And, um, and so the so the third eye is, is really important. It is really, really everything. All the ascension happens through the third eye, through the, through the, the, the sixth and seventh chakra. And so, um, and in terms of hanging on to the past, the, the idea is to slow down, to slow down, to, to, to take the time huh, to to not not to be uh, not to be um, not to be agitated. Try to always return to the peace, to the the the, the, the center. Huh? Just call on your Creator, call on your guides, call on the angels and the archangels. Yeah, for some cards, yes. So I'm going to finish with a song. I thank you very much for listening to my message. I hope you, you, you prepare yourself. Those big waves of energy will definitely upgrade us and, and will remove a lot of blockages and false ideas of karma and so on. For some, for we, we don't really have all the information, so we just trust the, trust the, the, great, the great light that is coming from the sun and the central sun. And I'm going to finish with a song. Uh, it's, it's a song. I don't know why I felt like singing this one song today. I saw so so the, the words. It's, um, it's a song from John Lennon. It's called Jealous Guy. I was dreaming of the past And my heart was beating fast I began to lose control I began to lose control I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry Oh my, I didn't want to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy I was feeling insecure You might not love me anymore I was shivering inside I was shivering inside oh I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry oh my I didn't want to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry Oh my, I didn't want to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy I was trying to catch your eyes Though that you were trying to hide I was swallowing 
my pain. I was swallowing my pain. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry that I made you cry. Oh my, I didn't want to hurt you. I'm just a jealous guy. Watch out, I'm just a jealous guy. Look out, baby, I'm just a jealous guy. For the human heart, we have to accept that uh, the human heart is sensitive to certain things. We, we are asked to, to open it up to unconditional love, to allow so many things, to, to let go of attachment, which is not always easy. So we have to accept our human nature, our human limitation, and allow the spirit to, to assist us in removing them one at a time, so that uh, progressively we, we move into the trust and the process. The, the observer of the day's work. There's going to be amazing work. We're going to be uh, we're going to be called to work. The work that we're going to have to do is going to be very fulfilling. We have to find a work, this work that is fulfilling, that is enjoyable. The work is the key that opens the door. But if, if we don't serve, if we, work is a way of serving, and and it's really how our things work. Confucius was saying when work becomes synonymous to joy, then we'll never have to work again in our life. So. Find a work that you like and you'll never have to work. The highest wisdom is the reward. To accept that the cause and the effect for, for whatever... We don't do things to get rewarded, but eventually uh, the, the fruits, uh, the, whatever we plant, will grow and eventually the fruits come. What we need to understand is unity. What we need to do is a renewal, a brand new beginning, a new life that is about to start. And the outcome is hope. We're going to return to the sense of hope, great hope, great enthusiasm. And uh, for, for hope was the only thing that was left in the Pandora's box, which was not a box, it was a jar. Pandora was the first woman that was from mythology, was, was created. She became the wife of Epimete. And uh, and he was the woman that uh, was insatiable. Who, uh, it's like before that, the, from the Greek mythology, men could work, would never have to work. They were really happy. But as soon as Pandora comes, like men could, uh, we found women that are insa insatiable. They would have to work and, and fight against each other just to conquer this this uh, this woman, Pandora. Which means uh, uh, she, she means that he, she who has been given all by all. Huh? It's like she, she had all every, she's everything. She, she's like the, the divine feminine, and in many ways, there's many divine archetypes of the feminine. And we're going to be returning to the, this very important uh, aspect of the of the fin feminine aspect of life. The receptive, the, the loving, the mothering, the, and every man and woman have to develop this feminine side within them themselves, uh, uh, in, in a balanced way, of course. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Salut.